Good morning, Martians. So a few people have asked me, uh, what mods do I use? And a couple want to know how to install them. Um, you know, they made it pretty easy here. And I, everything I do through Steam anyway, um, so I don't have to do a lot of uh, direct hands-on um, opening the dot pack files or putting pieces where they go. Unless it's a mod that doesn't go through Steam that maybe wasn't approved or something. And um, yeah, I don't uh, do them that way, but I'll, I'm just going to do a walkthrough of uh, what, what uh, mods I particularly use. So I select Mars over here, my let's uh, take on Mars over here on the side, and I click Browse the Workshop and click on uh, Modifications, or am I already there? What do I got here? Modifications. And the ones I use right now, and actually I don't have any loaded at the moment. Um, whenever they do an upgrade, I tend to un uh, turn them off in the game, and I'll show you that in a second. But I got Deep Blur Night Vision. I thought that was pretty cool. I used that in the beginning when I was doing a lot of traveling. Um, there's a couple of other ones in here, and I'll show you the list, but let's see here. What's this other one? There was a mount something or other. Yeah, the RTG mount. I don't have that one, but there is a re um, refinery one. Did I miss it already? Yeah, there was a refinery. Uh, let you mount your refineries on a floor, because as you know, in one of my uh, episodes, it mounted through a floor and destroyed a whole bunch of stuff. So, well, anyway, this is how I, uh, I get them. I click on the mod. And then I subscribe to it. Just like um, Space Engineers or almost every game, really. Um, we'll go back here and right click on Take on Mars. And you can uh, open the launcher. And immediately it shows you what mods you have uh, downloaded. And you can see I don't have any of them enabled right now. But Weightless Resource Tanks, that's the big giant tanks. And um, you probably noticed on some of the scenarios, they weren't mounted to the ground. Um, so you couldn't put a resource barrel on it to get any of the water out or anything. So you had to figure out a way to mount your resource tanks by using the crane. And a lot of luck, man. It was just ridiculous. I don't even think that was on purpose, but a lot of us tried to do it without um, going into the editor or anything like that. But... Uh, the comms array mount point fix I wanted so I could mount it on I'm on the roof of my building my aerial the light suit mod is the one that gives you an hour of air in it I wanted that to be more like the medium so instead of having a half hour or whatever it was you can get an hour or more the blurred night vision was cool because it just uh, cleared up that night vision look you can try that and see what you like Refinery mounts. Uh, yeah, I want these to be mounted inside of an area uh, up on the deck. So that's why I wanted to try that. I have have not used that yet though. Um, and, and there you go. And then you can launch. You know, take on Mars from here, and you can see it loads them real quick. Then for this, I'll go right into the edit. Or no, right down here, add-ons. They're calling them add-ons down here. So here it shows them again. And if you make any changes here, it'll make you restart the game. But like I said, none of these are uh, enabled at the moment. Um, it says you can create a new add-on. I guess if you get one, and I, I haven't used this yet um, to create my own. So I'm not even going to click on that because who knows what might happen. Well, you can delete one from your list if you highlight it. Um, and copy un and unpack is right here. Like say you want to mod another mod like say this one but you want to modify a different one you can go here copy and unpack and then that'll unpack the pack file for you for what I understand um, like I said I don't do that either but on how to load them and which ones I use is right here and then once they're clicked on like let's just say light suit mod it if you say yes load it it'll say you need to restart and ask if you want to restart. I'm not going to do that at the moment. But let's see what happens if I copy and un... Well, I don't know. You think I should try it? All right, let's click and see what happens. Copy and unpack. Add-on is now unpacked. The game must be restarted to complete operation. Click OK to restart game. Um, okay, I don't know exactly what unpack means, but I was able to use some mods before without unpacking. So let's see what it says here in add-ons now. 
so packed. Oh, okay. So this is a, it made a copy of it. If I wanted to, uh, here, let me turn this one off. So it made a copy. Show folder. Oh, okay. So here's the component. So if you wanted to, like I'm saying, I'm not a mod person. So I'm not going to go in here and uh, edit any of this stuff. I've tried my hand on Space Engineers mods in the past, but I decided not to do that. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and delete that. That's how you can unpack them, but you can install them without unpacking them, though, from what I understand. I mean, I've used uh, the de-blur without having to unpack it. Oh, and you can pack it again. So once you edit it, you can come right back in here and pack it again. So let's get rid of this. I don't want any of that crap floating around. Delete, yes. And I'll keep all these not installed. So basically that's it. Now, I don't ha like I said, I didn't install any of these. Um, but they work the way the, the, the authors say they do. But yeah, there you go. That's a simple way to unpack them and you can modify them yourself under the add-ons. And uh, yeah. You guys have a good one.